Have you ever stopped to consider how significant a role small animals like tarsiers play in our ecosystem? Small they may be, but their impact on our Earth's health is nothing short of colossal. These little creatures are instrumental in maintaining the balance in our ecosystems. They serve as pollinators, seed dispersers, and even as a food source for larger animals. Let's take tarsiers as an example. These tiny primates with their big eyes and even bigger personalities are crucial predators in their habitats. They help keep insect populations in check, preventing overpopulation and the potential detriments that come with it. Without tarsiers, the balance of their ecosystem would be disrupted, potentially leading to negative ripple effects that could impact all species within the ecosystem, including us. So whether it's a tarsier in the Philippines, a hummingbird in the Amazon, or a rabbit in your backyard, every small animal contributes to the overall health and balance of our planet. So as we can see, these small creatures have a big job to do. Now that we understand their importance, how do we ensure their survival and well-being? Let's dive into the world of tarsiers, these unique small primates that have a big role in our ecosystems. Caring for tarsiers is a delicate process and requires a deep understanding of their needs. Firstly, let's talk about their diet. Tarsiers are primarily insectivorous, feasting on a menu of insects, spiders, and occasionally small birds and bats. Their hunting style is unique, preferring to pounce on their prey rather than chase it. So if you're caring for a tarsier, ensure it has a steady supply of live insects to keep its hunting instinct sharp. Now, on to their habitat. Tarsiers are arboreal creatures, meaning they spend most of their time in trees. They thrive in dense secondary forests and mangroves. Therefore, it's crucial to replicate this environment as closely as possible. This includes having plenty of vertical space for them to leap and cling onto, as well as areas for them to hide and feel safe. Beyond diet and habitat, understanding their behavior is key. Tarsiers are nocturnal animals, sleeping during the day and becoming active at night. Disturbing their sleep cycle could lead to significant stress. They are also extremely territorial and solitary. Keeping multiple tarsiers in a confined space could result in aggression and high stress levels. Stress, in fact, is a major concern for these small creatures. Captivity can often cause undue stress, leading to self-harming behaviors and even death. This is why it's crucial to maintain a calm, quiet environment for them and limit interaction as much as possible. Finally, remember that tarsiers are not pets. They are wild animals and should be treated as such. If you come across a tarsier in the wild, it's best to leave it alone. If it's injured or in danger, contact a local wildlife rescue or conservation organization. They have the knowledge and resources to provide proper care. Proper care for these small animals goes a long way in ensuring their survival and subsequently the health of our ecosystems. But tarsiers aren't the only small animals that need our attention. There's a whole world of tiny critters out there, each with their own unique needs. Take sugar gliders, for instance. They're nocturnal creatures who need plenty of space to glide around. Or consider hedgehogs, who need a balanced diet of insects and fruits to stay healthy. Let's not forget about rabbits. These furry friends need lots of hay and fresh vegetables in their diet, and they also need daily exercise to keep them happy and healthy. In caring for these animals, we see a common thread. The need for a proper diet, ample space for exercise, and a suitable environment that mimics their natural habitat. It's also crucial to provide them with regular vet checkups to ensure they're in tip-top shape. Understanding their unique needs and adjusting our care accordingly is key to their well-being. No matter the species, taking care of small animals requires knowledge, patience, and a lot of love. But what if you encounter a small animal in distress or in an unsuitable environment? Well, that's where the Department of Environment and Natural Resources comes in. If you stumble upon a situation like this, don't hesitate to reach out to them. Start by documenting the situation, noting the animal's appearance and behavior, and the specifics of the location. This information will be crucial in helping the department determine the best course of action. Next, give them a call or send them an email. They'll guide you through the next steps and may even send out a team of experts to assess the situation. It's essential to remember that these are professionals trained to handle wildlife. They have the know-how to rescue and rehabilitate these animals, ensuring they receive the care they need. So let's not take matters into our own hands. Instead, let's involve the pros who can truly make a difference. Remember, when it comes to helping small animals, we can all play our part.